Hey guys, welcome to section, I'm sorry, chapter 2, section 5. And this section is going to be all about objects and classes. Now, you might, you might have heard of object-oriented programming, um, such as Java, Smalltalk. There's actually a lot of object-oriented programming languages, but there's very few that uh, are as object-oriented as Ruby. It, it considers everything as an object, uh, any string, any number, integer, even Boolean operators like AND and OR are treated like objects. So virtually everything is an object to Ruby. So it's very important if you're going to learn Ruby, then you need to understand the basic principles of object-oriented programming. And whenever you talk about objects, you have to talk about classes because all objects belong to a class okay no matter what and a class can have methods and properties which are two different things um, let's just say we have a class called animal all right and in the animal class we will have properties like um, maybe type um, let's say size color stuff like that um, so those would be properties and then we'd have methods, which we already know what methods are. We've been using them, uh, just not in an object-oriented sense. So a method might be like, say, roar or, or bark or something like that. It's an action. So just remember, classes have properties and they have actions or methods. So I think the best way to do this would just to show you an example. So I'm going to create a class. And I'm going to call it car. Now, when you create a class, the class name should always be capitalized. The, the first letter should always be capitalized. All right. So, I mean, in this command line interface, we're going to do it line by line, but you could also, um, you know, on, when we get into the next sections, we'll be working with Ruby files. So we'll have everything laid out in a file. So it's not always going to be this command line interface. So if we create a class called car, you'll see that the number changes here to one and like I explained before that's because we're working in the class we're not on the top level okay now so we have a class of car we want to add some attributes and when I say attributes it's the same as properties alright so they're pretty much the same thing um, we're gonna have a car class so we can have a make a model a color so how we define attributes is we do ATTR and then an underscore and then assessor so we'd have the ATTR assessor and then here we define our properties so a class of car let's say make can be a property and then you just separate them with a comma and all the properties should start with a colon so make model um, color okay so we'll define these three so we have a class with three attributes or three properties so we're just going to end it here and then you'll see it gives us nil because there's no errors or anything and we're also back to the top level so we have an actual class created now the class itself really doesn't do much for us because we have no objects we only have a class we have to create the object so we're going to create a car object so I'm just gonna call it um, car1 alright so car1 we have to define this as an object so we do this by the equal sign and then we have the name of the class and then dot new and this is just a resource you don't have to pay attention to this number right here but we now have a car car1 is an object in the car class so now that we have this object, we want to add some properties to it. So to do that, we would say car car one dot let's say um, make car one make will set to um, uh, I don't know Honda. Okay, so now we have this object. Car one is the object. It belongs to the car class and it has a color of, of I'm sorry <laughs> a make of Honda now we can add some more we'll say 
car one dot uh, model can be civic. All right, and we'll say car one dot color can be blue. So now we have a, an object with three properties. If we try and, and add a property that wasn't defined in the class, like car one uh, dot, we'll say style equals um, um, sedan. And we get this error that says undefined method style or an undefined property. So you have to define your properties in the class in order to to have a property. So this object, this car one object, is an it's an instance. It's called an instance. So we can create we can create unlimited objects from this. So we can say car two uh, dot make. We'll say Toyota. Oh, we have to define it first. We can't just, we have to define each object. So car2 equals car.new. So whenever you're going to create a new car, you have to have, you have to name it, and then you have to do the car.new. Now we can say car2.make is Toyota. And let's just say car2. Dot model uh, Camry and car 2 dot color will say green well, should be consistent with single or double quotes uh, I make that mistake quite a bit okay so now we have two objects we have car 1 and car 2 and we can work with each property as well. So we could say uh, print car2.make and it'll print Toyota. Okay, so I'm going to clear this out real quick. Now, in, in addition to having attributes for a class, we can have methods. And we can have methods that are only particu particular to that class. So let's say, so we have our car class. Uh, let's just say we're going to have a method called uh, drive. All right, so what we would do is go back into the class. So we'll do class car. And now you can see it changed to a one, so we're in the class. Now we're going to define a method. We're going to do the DEF for define, and then we're going to call it drive. Now, if we press enter, you'll see now we have a two here instead of a one. And what that means is that not only are we in the car class, but we're also in the drive function, I mean the drive method. All right, so here is what we're going to put, what we want to happen when we use the drive method. And obviously, we can't make a computer drive, so I'm just going to print out driving. Okay, so the drive method, all it's going to do is print out the word driving. So we want to do end to get out of the function, and then we want to do end to get out of the, the class. So now we should be able to call it by going, let's say we have our car one object, and we can use this on any of our car objects. So we'll just do car one drive. Well, actually we'll print it out to the screen. Print car one drive, and it says driving. So that's how you would call a method that's in a particular class for a particular object. So what I want to do now is talk about inheritance and I'm actually going to close out of this and open a new window because when you close out and open a new command prompt uh, everything gets erased so there's no classes I just wanted to get rid of that class and any other um, entities that we had on that particular command prompt so just go into a new a new session, a new command prompt, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a class called vehicle, okay, because we're going to have the, the, the car class extend or inherit properties from the vehicle class, because say in this program we're writing, writing we don't want just cars, we want to have boats or trucks or 
I could be like a, a classified type of website application. So let's just create a vehicle class. So class vehicle. And we want to define the attributes. And we're going to do, um, we'll just say make. Now what we, we want here is attributes that will work for cars, boats, trucks, um, any kind of vehicle. So we know that all vehicles have a make, okay? So we know that all vehicles have a color. And I don't know, we could say, we could say year. So we know all vehicles have these three attributes. So we can have these as attributes for the master class, which is vehicle. So and we're just going to end it there. So now what we do to create a subclass we, or a class that inherits the vehicle class, we do car and then we do the less than sign and the class we want to inherit. So it's class car extends vehicle or inherits vehicle. And here we want to add an attribute. And we're going to add an attribute called four wheel, which will just be a, a, a yes or no attribute if, if the vehicle has four wheel drive. And then we'll end that. So now we have a vehicle class with three, three attributes we can use. And we have a car class that can also use these three attributes in addition to this four wheel attribute. So let's just create a car. We'll just say car1 equals car.new and car1.make. Um, say we'll say BMW and car1.color equals black. Sorry, I'm, I'm using double and single quotes here. I'll try to stick to one. Black and car one year uh, we'll say 2012. Now we have our three attributes. Now we can also add if the car has four wheel drive or not by car one dot four wheel equals and here we're going to use a one or a zero for yes or no. It's very typical to use uh, for something where we, we just have an on or an off value. So we're going to say zero at, because it doesn't have four wheel drive. Now let's create a, actually, you know what, let's create another subclass. So let's do class boat and that will also extend the vehicle class. And here, and for the boat class, I want to have a hull attribute. So it'll be hull, it'll be fiberglass or steel, but this is something that only the boats will have. So as we're doing this, try to think of like a, an auction site, um, something like that, or a classifieds, a vehicle or auction, vehicle classifieds or auction site, something like that. So. For this, we just want to have the hull attribute, and then we'll end. So now we can say boat one, and we want this to be an um, part of the boat class. So boat dot new. So now we can give it some attributes. We'll say boat one, um, boat one dot make. Um, I don't really know any boat makers, um, so I'll just say sample, sample boats, I don't know. Okay, and now we'll do boat one dot, what else do we have, color, so we'll just say white, and boat one dot year. Um, 
I'll say 2009. Uh, actually, we don't need to use quotes on that. So 2009. Now we can do bolt one dot hull, and that'll be fiberglass. All right. So now we have a boat and a and a car. Now, if I try to do this, car one dot hull equals fiberglass. Uh, that shouldn't happen. What just happened? Oh, oh, we need to. I don't. I'm not sure what was happening right there with those quotes, but let's try that again. Um, so, car one, car one dot hull, fiberglass, and you can see undefined method hull. So our undefined also means undefined attribute. So we can't give a car a hull because the car is a, is a class that doesn't have that as an attribute. We also couldn't give a boat a four wheel drive attribute. And you can do the same thing with methods. Uh, so let's say this real quick. So let's go back into the car which extends, uh, was it vehicle? Yeah, vehicle. So we're back in the car class. Now let's define a method. Um, I don't know. Let's say, let's say do donuts. Says so we're not gonna have the boat do donuts. So we'll just, I mean, just for an example, we'll just say print doing donuts. And then we want to end out of the function and then end out of the class. And same thing, we'll go to class boat, which extends vehicle. And this, um, we'll just say, we'll define a function called, I don't know, sailing. And just print out. I'm sailing, and then end out of the method and end out of the class. Whoop! End out of the class. Uh, what happened here? Undefined local variable. Uh, oh, because I didn't have the end, so we have to go back into that and just fix it. So in the boat class, define sailing, which will print out I'm sailing and end and then end again all right so now we can do um, print car one dot was it drive no donuts car one do, do donuts uh, undefined method do donuts if do donuts Strange. Let's just check car one's class. And I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can actually use the class method to, to for it to echo out or print out what class it's in. So car one Huh. Well, let's try to create another one. Alright, so let's go back to class. Um car vehicle and I don't know what happened there so let's just try to do another function we'll say um, drive so this is a method or a function called drive which will print out driving and end and end all right so now we should be able to print car one dot drive all right so I'm not sure, something must have happened with the syntax up there. But as you can see, we can have the car one drive. We cannot, however, say print boat one dot drive. Now there's an undefined method of drive because we don't have that method in the boat class. So I mean, that's the, the basics of, of inheritance. Um, very, very helpful and useful and probably one of the 
the most used aspects of programming in general. So um, that's it for this section, and that's it for this chapter. I will see you. We'll get back into some Rails work in Chapter 3.